Hey y'all, this video brought to you by Rock City Guns. Yeehaw! Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. There she blows, the Glock 43. Hey, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Rick at Rock City Guns for making this possible, making sure that I got my paws on this gun first. And to uh, my buddy Ricky, who actually had this gun reserved for quite a while. There were two coming in, only one arrived today. And uh, he graciously uh, stepped aside and let me take this one home today so that I could make this video for you. Ricky, I really appreciate it. I can't wait to make some more videos with you. Well, um, some interesting things we noticed uh, right off the bat with this gun. It does come with a flush magazine and a magazine with the pinky rest. They are both six round magazines though. This is not an extended magazine, just has the pinky rest. This gun is also made in Austria. And the 380 started out that way and then uh, began to get stamped and made in Georgia. We'll see where this one goes. This might be a, an oddball sort of part of the first release of the gun. And that could be interesting. It feels great in my hands. Now I let the guys at Rock City shoot the thing a couple of times, so I'm not getting the first rounds down range here. But they said it pull it pushes straight back like a Glock. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna shoot some horny critical defense. It's only 115 grain, but let's see how she runs. I didn't take this, so I didn't have time. I didn't take it apart, didn't lube it, didn't clean it. Uh, brought it out to the range, turned the camera on, and we're off and running. First rounds downrange with the Glock 43. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm pretty impressed. You know, I've had a couple of these pocket pistols over time. Uh, the Beretta Nano and the MVP Shield and, you know, they did what they did, but they were never any fun to shoot. They, you know, kind of jumped around in my hands. They were hard to control. If I had to do something in short range, they would have worked. It would have been fine. So I'm not knocking them. They do what they're designed to do. But because they were sort of uncomfortable to shoot, I didn't practice the way you really should with it. Not the case with the Glock 43. This is a Glock. It has all of the recoil impulse is all in the right direction, the way you'd expect if you're a Glock shooter, if you enjoy Glock pistols, this is going to feel real familiar with it, for you, uh, to you. Uh, you're probably noticing I'm having to kind of adjust my hands around on the gun. The grip is thinner and it's just, I'm coming to grips with that. So expect to see me doing some of that in the follow-on videos to this. If I had one knock on it, it would be that they shipped it with two different uh, magazine base plates. Particularly on this gun, I think that's a problem because my grip changes whether I've got this magazine or that magazine in. And for practice, I don't think that's a good thing. I'll probably end up ditching this one. I'll probably get rid of that base plate first. The first thing I'll look to do to this to this, uh, to this this gun. Uh, potentially some night sights. It's got the, the black uh, plastic sights that you normally get on a Glock. All right, folks, look for some more videos coming. I'm gonna do at least three more on this gun. First impressions, thumbs up, I dig it. Hey, thanks again to Rick at Rock City Guns and, and my buddy Ricky for, for uh, graciously stepping aside and, and uh, letting me take this one home and, and make this video for you. Always remember, anyone can shoot, anyone can shoot the Glock 43, because it's pretty cool. All right, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.